Welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to import a Microsoft Excel survey file into Civil Designer and ultimately use that to generate a contoured layout. This video will focus only on the process of importing the Microsoft spreadsheet into Civil Designer, generating points and triangulating. Let us begin. So first of all, let me open up a pretty standard looking Microsoft Excel spreadsheet which shows a series of points which have been collected by our survey students. You'll see that on the left hand side column I have the description of the points. The next column is the X coordinate, then the Y coordinate and then the Z coordinate. So at the moment I'm dealing with a .xlsx file. In order to import this information into Civil Designer, I need to convert it into a .csv file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now by clicking on File, Save As, changing to a CSV file. I'm going to change this name here quickly to Survey, oops, Survey Import, and then go ahead and say Save. I'm going to say yes, and that's what I've effectively done now. It's created a .csv Microsoft Excel file. Go ahead and close that. Do you want to save this? Do you want to save the changes? I'm going to say don't save, and then you'll see it's closed down. All right. So go ahead and I open up Civil Designer, which is this screen here, and I'm going to go straight to the survey mode. Click on that. Choose the file button project settings, click on terrain, search for a DT7 file, uh, there isn't one, I want to create one, so I'm going to call it, um, what shall we call it, survey, survey prac one, it'll be a .dt7 file, so I'm going to hit and say open, it says this doesn't exist, create the file, I say yes. I'm working in Southern Hemisphere, the transverse Mercator is the correct project and the datum is WGS84 and I'm going to use Central Longitude 19 degrees East. Good, okay, there we go. Well, where is the survey? It's not imported yet, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose File, Import, ASCII YXZ, Single File. Scroll to wherever you have saved it, Survey Import. That's the correct one. Say so open and you come up with this interface here. Make sure comma delimited is selected. So next here I'm going to left click, say that is the name, left click X coordinate, left click Y coordinate and Z coordinate. Take note that this group of students has chosen to do X and Y in these columns for our purposes, the negatives are the Y coordinates in where we are in South Africa and the X's are positive. So I would have preferred for this to be Y in the first column and then X in this column. But nevertheless, that's what we're working with at the moment. Finish. This tells me the data range. Is anything wrong with it? It appears to be correct. Although take note that the Y coordinate is ranging from minus 58,000 to positive 58,000. So this lets me think that the students have made a mistake with the signs. Nevertheless, let's see what happens. Import. I'm going to import this to destination surface 1. Okay. And you'll see that some points have arrived. Wow, look how far apart these points are. This point over here is positive 58,000. And here they are negative. So these points appear to be in the incorrect places. All right. So I'm going to go ahead now just for the purpose of this exercise to... No, I was going to delete them. I think I'll just leave them where they are. So let me focus then over here. And this is the survey that the students did. Right, so let me go ahead and just maybe put on the heights. So these are the heights at those individual points. Let me go put the codes on. And these are the descriptions for the various points. So that is all there. Let me switch it off just to make sure the drawing isn't cluttered. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the, to the terrain model. I'm going to go to model and I'm going to triangulate this model using in-memory triangulation. 
and specify the search distance to 30 meters. You can make this as long or as short as you need it to be, but we try to use a standard of 30 meters. Say OK. Triangulation has taken place and is concluded. Where are my triangles? Well, I can't see them at the moment, and that's because they're not switched on. So let me go ahead and switch them on by pushing the triangle button, and you'll see that my triangles are now, are now visible. If I wanted to see the contours, I would now have to switch the contours on, so let's go and do that. Uh, select contours, and you'll see that some contour lines are visible. Depending on the interval, more or less contour lines will be visible. How could I change this to a finer interval? Well, let me go to settings, display settings, contours. Always make sure contours are selected to be displayed. So the interval is one meter. Let me change that to 0 0.250 meters and maybe change this to 0 0.5 meter. I'll like that. I'll say OK. And notice how the contour has changed. I now have uh, every 100 millimeter contours are displayed and so are the 250. So what I can tell about this site is that it's very flat. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. In our next session, we will deal with how to create an embankment or cut excavation and how to work out the volumes using civil designer. Thank you so very much.